All right, so for those of you who don't know me already, uh, my name is Ashley Benzel and I wrestle as All Natural Ashley and I am an avid thrifter. So um, I've been going to thrift stores for a long time. I have a small obsession with vintage clothing and decor. And so I'm trying to find a way to turn my little passion into a profit. But the trouble is I just keep buying clothes that fit me and then it's hard to give them up. So um, this is definitely vintage. Um, if you saw Poor Things, it really reminds me of the, the dancing scene. And it's amazing. I'll do a little research about the piece and let you know, but it's got a little crinoline underneath and this color is just so good. Like it's, it's very formal. Um, it actually is a teeny bit too small for me, but I think I can probably just um, hem it a bit at the waist and Maybe put in a different zipper. I have to do a little research, but pretty fabulous. All right, so the brand is Steppin' Out. I'm pretty sure it's from the 90s, but I'm gonna find out for sure. All right, so my next piece, I'm pretty sure is also from the 90s, possibly the 80s. Norton McNaughton. Sorry, that's backwards, but I don't, I don't know what to do. Maybe I can fix it. Might be, might be forwards by the time I edit this. But anyway, this piece is fab. All right, so here it is on. It's a really lovely material. It's kind of a little bit silky. I love the pattern, I love the length. When I first picked it up, I thought, maybe I'm gonna crop this, but I feel like it's perfect as is. And I love it, it fits me perfectly. Everything was 50% off too, by the way. It's, I'm very, ex I'm very excited about this next piece. Um, this is probably, it's definitely got a slight mothball smell, but it's probably from 60s, 70s, 80s. I don't know. I need to research this brand too, but it's super fab. And it's got this rag clueless vibe. And I've also got a vintage slip which is going to be just a dress for me. Um, the tag is pretty nondescript. There's no brand left with it, but I think that um, it's probably from the 90s. Not sure, but it's definitely vintage. Okay, so here's, here's the tag. And um, yeah, definitely vintage. Definitely been around the block. Not sure exactly how old. All right, so this is the slip dress. Um, I love it. It's rad. Fits me like a glove. And it does pair very well with this red vintage overcoat jacket thing it's super lightweight i feel like clueless vibes from it but i love it i love the feathers super rad like this is supposed to go under your dress this is just a dress let's be real it makes me look like a vicious trollop bonus points if you can tell me the reference for vicious trollop. Yeah, 
I love this. It's so red, nice and soft. Honestly, I really feel like this is probably from the 60s or the 70s. Beautiful. Yeah, this is just a dress. It's just a dress. This is another rad item. Nautical vintage scarf. If I'm going somewhere conservative, you know, I can do a little. I love it. I've been super into this nautical stuff for a while. <sighs> Makes me feel like a vicious troll, honestly. Like, there's a lot we can do. A lot. I feel like this will look good with this one white dress that I have. 50% off! So this is the main event, $20 for this beautiful baby. Am I a vegetarian? Yes. Will I buy real fur at the thrift store without any remorse? 100% because, I mean, it's already been made and it's beautiful. This is a incredibly gorgeous, Vintage wool jacket that fits me perfectly. What? How often does this happen? 50% off. $20 hairs for me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I mean, It's pretty incredible. Like, I don't know if it's intentional, but it almost looks like it has a little bit of a face. This fur, the way it's tapered. Let's go back to winter, baby. And here's her tag. Julie B. Roma. Um, there's a lot of amazing stuff that y you can find in this area from local department stores, but I mean, that's just how they did clothing back then. Like in the, in the 50s, 60s and 70s, like stuff was made in small factories. It was made with tender love and care. And that's why these garments last. You smell like mothballs. I did pick up these two beautiful items. I used to have a big thing for milk glass and I still like it. Um, but this one I felt was extra special because it's just got this little whisper of pink. So beautiful. For $3, I feel like it's a steal. I love it. Do I need any more tchotchkes in my life? No, but I mean, whatever. Also, I picked up this beautiful, beautiful double vase, mid-century, 1950s, very Miss Maisel for $7.99, 99 Royal Fenton made in Staffordshire, England. So beautiful, super feminine. Maybe I'll plant something in here. I, I checked it out. I mean, it's worth maybe $40 or something, but it's for me. I love you. I love you. I love you. Just really quick, this is not from today, but I just wanna show you one of the beautiful examples of locally made vintage clothing. Hazleton PA, 
Um, this is mink fur and you can see this tag is even like hand sewn in with care. Just love it so much. Lace lining on the inside. Wow. Such attention to detail, come on. And this also just perfectly fits me. It's from probably the 50s or 60s. It's got these adorable little buttons. Ashley can only eat salad with no dressing and drink clear beverages in this, but it's missing one of the little hooks. You can, there should be another clasp right here, but she's just been so well taken care of. And now she's mine. Look at these buttons. Blessed by the thrift store cards. All right, so also not, this is not from a thrift store. It's just a vintage, well, there's no just about it. I found this vintage dress in one of the local antique malls and Definitely 1950s, 1960s. Um, she'll look better when I have on a bra. Whatever. Amazing, beautiful, kind of like Asian inspired party dress. So pretty. I don't know, maybe a little belt action, but I love it. Like, ready for a fancy, fancy birthday party. Don't forget the champagne. I'm sorry, I lied again, but I just also had to show you this amazing first stool that I did get from a thrift store. Lit Brothers, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Amazing. What? Once again, like, fur, hate me if you want. I don't eat meat. I don't, I try not to kill any insects and I do my best, but like, it was, it's, it's already long gone. Why not give it a good home? Why not just love it? It's been, literally decades. All right, so outro time. Um, I wasn't gonna show this off initially, but this is the, the I mean, it's probably vintage t-shirt that I found that is amazing. I might make it into a crop shop. Crop shop. Crop top. I might make it into a crop, a crop top, crop top. But um, it's amazing. It's definitely been around the block. It's pretty good just how it, how it is, I don't know. I'm feeling ambivalent about it because I feel like I could make it a lot more vicious trollop. Like here, I don't know. You tell me. Should I crop this? Or should I leave it? Anyway, thank you for um, checking out my very first thrift store treasure find vlog. Um, I'm just kind of trying stuff out. And if people like this, then I will give it my all because this was fun. Let me know what you think. Space cat.